Hello everybody. This is Dr. Shikha Mukhija, Senior IVF Consultant and Center Head in the IVF Gorakhpur. Today we have a very important topic to discuss. What basic investigations to be done if an infertile couple visits us for the first time? Before we understand this, we need to know what basic what is the normal conception process? How does a female conceive naturally? Normally, every month, female ovary releases an egg. It comes in the fallopian tube. And when a husband and wife, they have sexual intercourse, then millions of sperms, they swim through the uterus, they reach the fallopian tube. One of these sperm, it fertilizes the ova and uh, an embryo is formed. And uh, in uh, three to four days, this embryo this swims towards the uterus it implants there and there it stays and grows for nine months and at the end of nine months we have a baby so that is the natural conception process through our investigation we are trying to find faults in this process because if any of these step in this whole, pro whole process is faulty then the female is not with us so uh, first thing, uh, we I am primarily looking for five things, primarily trying to find out these five things. First, what is the ovarian reserve of the patient? What is her fertility potential? How many eggs are remaining in her ovaries? Now, we know that as female ages, her eggs keep on decreasing with her age. Females are born with whatever eggs she is ever going to have. Have and they diminish over time. So usually at the age of 40 to 50 years, these eggs finish, female has menopause and that is it. But uh, sometimes these eggs may finish earlier, as early as in the 30s, even in the 20s. So this is known as premature ovarian failure or POF. So uh, whenever an infertile couple comes to us for the first time, it makes sense to find out the ovarian reserve of the patient. Now, how do we test for the ovarian reserve? We can get an AMH or an anti-mullerian hormone test done and its normal value is 1.5 to 4 nanogram per ml and if this value is less than 1.5 then the, uh, the couple are in, are in a little bit of trouble and I think they need to hurry. And the second way we can look for ovarian reserve is by doing an intral follicular count or AFC. What is AFC? Uh, this we look through TVS. We do TVS on second or third day of cycling. And we, we look for all these small follicles of size 2 to 8 mm or at this time. And uh, usually this AFC and AMH, they should correlate. So uh, this is testing for ovarian reserve. Second thing. Second, uh, we need to see whether the female is ovulating or not because uh, for her to become pregnant, uh, definitely a mature egg is required. So how do we test for this? We do a transvaginal sonography, we do a follicular monitoring through this and we see that the follicle is actually growing and at the end uh, uh, egg is ovulating or not. So uh, this is one method. Second method we can also do, uh, there are LH predictor kits. Through this, we can also test whether the ovulation is taking place or not. Third thing uh, is the testing for the tubal potency, testing for the fallopian tube, whether they are open or not. Because if the tubes are blocked, there is no way that the female can conceive naturally. So we need to test them definitely and the various tests are available. We can do a sono salpingography, a hystero salpingography or uh, we can uh, during laparoscopy we can do chromo perturbation with methylene so this is testing for the fallopian tube fourth thing we need to look for the female's hormones uh, we need to do a thyroid we need to do prolactin also we need to do amh that i told you earlier fifth fifth is last but not the least we need to do a simple semen analysis and in the semen analysis, uh, we look for the volume, uh, the quantity of sperms, the quality of sperms in which we are looking for uh, sperm vitality, morphology and motility. If the semen analysis report is normal, then we do not need to do any further testing. If the report is abnormal for consecutively two times, 
then uh, we may need to do further testing like a DFI or a D DNA fragmentation index or an ultrasound scrotum or a hormonal analysis. So uh, that is semen analysis. So these are the basic investigations that we need to do whenever an infertile couple comes to us. It is my advice to all the infertile couples that go to a good infertility center, new, uh, center near you and get these tests done and uh, get your treatment done according to the report of your investigations and uh, if you want to get in contact with us you can uh, definitely call us at our helpline number or you can visit us uh, at our center in Indra Agya Thank you.